welcome back students this is again a video from journal anatomy blood vessels chapter okay so if you will go into the blood vessel chapter of general anatomy you will learn about the arterio venous anastomosis or av sunt av sunt means arterio venous sunt okay now in the previous videos i have said that the anastomosis which takes place uh, among the blood vessels they can be of many type i have told you a artery can anastomose with a neighboring artery what is called as arterial anastomosis then we have also seen that the veins they anastomose with the neighboring veins which is called as venous anastomosis but in this video we will learn about a anastomosis between an artery branch and a branch or a tributaries of a vein so this is an anastomosis between an artery and the vein which is quite a uh, different type of the anastomosis and it is called as the av sunt so now we come to the third type of the blood vascular anastomosis which is the arterio venous anastomosis now this arterio venous anastomosis or av sunt okay if you see it let us see the first diagram okay with the help of the pointer i am showing you the first diagram and in this first diagram you will realize that the terminal arteriole okay or arteriole breaks up into capillary and the other end of the capillary will form a small vein called as the venule this is the normal practice that means artery just drain its blood into the capillary where the exchange takes place or it may drain into the sinusoid and then the other end the vein is formed okay so in between the artery and vein there is always capillaries and sunts are seen okay as a general rule okay but there are few places in our body where this in steed arm say in addition to this that means there is presence of the uh, capillaries are there between an arteries and vein okay but uh, there is also the presence of a direct communication between the artery and vein say for example in this second diagram you are seeing this is the same arteriole but this arteriole is giving okay a communication or a branch which is uh, communicating with that of the vein or venule here so there is a communication between artery and vein okay directly from artery to the vein okay and this communication is in addition to the capillaries okay in addition to the capillaries which are placed between artery and the vein now this kind of communication which is between an arteriole and venule is called as arterio venous anastomosis so this communication where i am moving my pointer just see that this communication between artery and vein is called as arterio venous anastomosis or it is called as av sunt i hope that you have followed what is the av sunt or arterio venous anastomosis now what is the utility of this arterio venous anastomosis and how it work that means this communication between arteriole and venule is it open all the time or it is open only at some time it is open only at some time when it is open whenever this sunt is uh, open whenever there is not much of the blood is needed in the tissue which is supplied by this capillary hmm kehne ka matlab ki jo ye capillaries ke aas paas ke jo tissue hai usme agar blood ki need kam hai that means oxygen and nutrition are lessly required then this sunt will open there is a sphincter here which is formed by the smooth muscle of tunica media and this smooth muscle will open up that will they will relax when the blood is not needed in the tissue supplied by the capillary so that the blood can bypass from artery directly to the vein okay 
but on other hand when the tissue or organ to which these capillaries are supplying they are active okay okay it needs a lot of oxygen and that of the nutrition then naturally more it needs more blood at that time this sphincter will close okay that means sphincter will constrict and no blood will go from arterial end of this sun towards the venous end and almost all the blood will go to the through the capillary so that means tissue will get oxygen and the nutrition okay oxygen hmm, nutrition so when tissue or organ is active and needs more blood then this anastomosis is closed that means this sunt is closed and blood flows through the capillaries in that condition in that condition right but just let us see in other diagram okay when an organ or tissue is at rest as i explain you already this organ or tissue in which these capillaries are present if it is at rest then the sunt will open up that means the sphincter will relax the smooth muscle of his sphincter will relax and lot of the blood will pass from this sun or this anastomotic vessel from directly from artery to the vein or to the venule and very little blood will go into the tissue or capillary or sometime no blood may go also for short time okay for short time so very little blood will thus this sunt occurs at many places this kind of mechanism okay mechanism of the blood flow when it is needed the capillary will open it when it is not needed then the sunt will open up and the blood will be short circuited or bypassed as we see the bypass huh, near the cities okay so the with vehicles can go those who do not want to go inside the city they can bypass okay they go through the bypass without going inside the city in the similar way okay lot of the blood will go when the sunt is open but this as i said the opening and closing of the sunt or bypassing of the blood depends on the requirement of the oxygen and nutrition in the tissues where these capillaries are located okay where these capillaries are located and this is achieved by contraction and relaxation of the sphincter which is present at the arterial end of this sunt okay see this is the arterial end and this is the venule end of the sunt is there now this kind of the mechanism of sunt they occur at many places in our body and i will tell you why they occur at this places okay this sunt occurs at the tip of the nose okay at this our tip okay on the tip of our nose in our lips upper lip as well as in the lower lip in the lobules of the ear see this is the lobule see me okay see me. me and then i am showing you the lobules of the ear and on the tip of the finger see this these are the finger tips similarly in our feet hmm, there are the toes and on the tip of the toes these are the sunts which mechanism of the sunt is present okay so these are in the peripheral organs okay tip of the nose lobules of the ear leaves tips of the finger and tips of the toes they are the peripheral structure okay this kind of sunt are not found deep inside the body okay and that let us see the function so you will get why these are there on the peripheral places Artery venous anastomosis or sunt it functions in the regulation of temperature of the skin so the sunts are very important mechanism by which the skin regulates the temperature say for example during the winter season or for example you have gone to the place where the snow is falling okay so it is a minus 0 degree celsius temperature is there and snow is there and then what will happen you your body is under the stress why it is under stress because your body tries to maintain the temperature of the body around 30 degree 37 degree celsius but outside it is minus in the minus so your body will always try not to lose the heat okay because then the heat will try to go out of the body but being since we are the warm blooded animal our biochemical reactions which are taking place in individual cell 
they will be uh, affected and then because if the proper temperature is not maintained so our skin will try to save this heat which is present in body it's because we are warm blooded animal so all these peripheral capillaries they will constrict in the skin they will constrict okay capillaries will constrict means this uh, that means this sunt will open up the sunt will open up that means the constriction there will be not no constriction but relaxation of this sphincter so the blood will directly pass from artery to the vein uh, in spite i am say in place of going to the periphery in the skin okay in the dermis of the skin and passing through the capillary plexus it will directly pass from artery to the vein so that the capillaries okay will not contain or will contain very minimal or less blood so the warmth of the body cannot go outside through the skin it will remain within the body right because there is sunting of the blood from artery directly to the vein because the sphincters are open thus the skin will try to protect the body okay will prevent the loss of the heat this is not taking place only in the skin throughout the body but mostly at the tip of the nose hmm? tip of the nose in the lobules of the ear in the lips and then tips of the fingers and uh, toes okay and the whole of the surface of the skin will also follow the same mechanism okay thus the peripheral part of our body they will try to protect us okay protect the heat okay protect i mean say preserve the heat okay preserve the heat within the body second important function of this av sunt is that whenever an organ is very active say for example when you have eaten the food that means the digestion or the absorption of this food is needed from the intestine okay then the blood will lot of blood will go into stomach into the intestine so that the water the carbohydrate protein fat minerals uh, can all absorb from the intestine and when you have you are hungry you have not eaten anything your intestine are empty then there is no need for this blood to go inside the capillaries of intestinal villi and therefore it will directly pass from the artery to the venous and that means the av sunt will open up okay and blood will directly pass from artery to vein without going or very little will go into the capillary plexus okay so this is the important mechanism or the artery venous anastomosis of our sunt i hope you have understood this well thank you very much for watching this video